We're going to do a few basics with uh, Edge today, hide and show, etc., etc. So let me move this over a little for you, get a better view. I've already set up something on the stage. I set up a small rectangle, a large rectangle, and some text, which we, of course, agree with that the lovely and gracious Mrs. Dodge is the best teacher ever. So here's what we're going to do. First off, when we start out something, we don't want to see uh, what we're going to show. So we have a rectangle, and we're going to hide the text. So we're going to go in the window, code, and then we're going to go to the stage, to the right, plus sign, and choose composition ready. So we need to hide our two elements. And our two elements are rectangle and text. Now you know you should change these, but I'm too lazy today. So typical starting sym dot dollar sign, open parentheses, open double quotes, close double quotes, close parentheses dot. Now we want to hide this, whatever this is. So we use the word hide. And because it's a function, open parentheses, close parentheses, semicolon. And since we've got two things to hide, well, we can just copy that line and paste it. So the question is, what do we want to hide? Well, we want to hide the rectangle. Remember, whatever you're writing here has to match what's over here in the elements panel. If they are not the same, it will not work. And the text. And as always, we want to go test, so we can use the shortcut, command return, or we can go under file, preview in browser, and yep, they're gone. Well, that's good. That's what we wanted. Let's come back here. So now we're going to make, we're going to signal, close this. So let's make these things show. Since we already know they're hidden, we'll click on the little Square, rectangle, which I've turned into a button. And we can come over here and click between the curly braces. Now this one will make a click. We're going to hide the rectangle. So click. And we can just come over here, hide and show, show. Or we can select toggle, which is probably a better choice. Because when it's toggle, it will hide and show as you click the button. So let's do that. Toggle, stage rectangle double click let's see what we got yep and because we didn't do anything with the text we still can't see it but we can toggle it on and off so let's do something with the text let's do a rollover roll out which means it's a little more work but not too much so go back to the coding let's move this up here for you plus sign mouse enter when the mouse enters, we would like it to show. And that would be the text. And then we can add a mouse leave. And we want when the mouse leaves to hide. And hide. All right, let's test it. Command return. Roll over, roll out, click. So you can see you can do a lot with this hide and show. And that's the hide and show show for today.